Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Microwave Me. Today, I'm going to be microwaving Cool Whip. As you may or may not know, Cool Whip is not really whipped cream at all, but it's comprised entirely of various uh, hydrogenated oils. I'm going to be microwaving this to show you what's inside of it. what you're really putting on your pie and on your strawberries. The stuff you think is whipped cream really isn't. It isn't anything like whipped cream. I'm going to microwave this for four minutes to really show you exactly what it looks like in its truest form. Here it is, that famous tub of whipped cream look-alike. But wait till you get a good look at what's inside it. Sure, everything looks perfectly fine right now. It just looks like regular old whipped cream, right? Four minutes in the microwave will definitely change that. Let the microwaving begin.
Okay, the cool whip is done. Now let's examine the post product. You see all that yellow in there? That's oil. It looks faintly like some kind of scrambled egg mix or eggnog. Is believe it or not, people were getting wise to coal whip and what it really is. So they started adding trace amounts of milk to make it seem a little less plastic. But look, you can clearly see that's a tub of cooking oil right there. Four minutes of microwaving revealed that that stuff that you're putting on your pies and on your strawberries and your cakes to give it a nice whipped cream flavor it's really no different from this stuff look look at how much the same they look what you're putting on your food for whipped cream is really just cooking oil. Think about that next time you want some nice cool whip on your pies, on your cake, on whatever. Think about what it really is. So, my final verdict, yeah, it's a good idea to microwave Cool Whip because it exposes it for what it really is. Cooking oil.